Well, Master Kenobi, my shining Jedi Knight to the rescue once again. After all these years, you're even more beautiful than ever. Kind words from a man who accuses me of treachery. I would never accuse you of personal wrongdoing, Duchess. Clearly, your investigation was ordered because the Senate is eager to intervene in our affairs. My investigation was ordered by the Jedi Council. I stand corrected. General Kenobi, perhaps you'd like to join me on a walk through the city. May I offer you another drink? Yes, certainly. I'm in a bit of an awkward spot. I'm being held by the Death Watch. Sorry, Duchess. We're out of ice. Sorry to hear that. Perhaps we should begin dinner without General Kenobi. There's a tracking function on your comlink. Follow it due east to my location. I don't know if I can do that at the moment. It's extremely urgent. Are you not feeling well, Duchess? Perhaps some fresh air would do me good. Shall I escort you outside? Take a speeder. It's rough terrain. Oh, I'll find my way. Never fear. Satine? Even now. Oh, how so? I saved your life, you saved mine. Yes, well, mine was the more daring of the two rescues. Very well. Cadet Corky, Amos, Lagos, these are some of the cadets that you will be instructing, Padawan Tano. Nice to meet all of you. That's a fine weapon. May I see it? Uh, I'm afraid not. Uh, because of Master Kenobi's recent visit and the trouble that followed, no off-worlders may carry weapons on Mandalore. Master Obi-Wan caused trouble? That's a first. I sense some anxiety from you about the Duchess. She couldn't be in safer hands. Yes, I know. Then why... Never mind. It's all in the past. Oh, so you're close to her. I knew her a long time ago. You are quite the general now, aren't you, Master Kenobi? Forgive me for interrupting, Your Highness. I meant no disrespect. Really? Senators, I presume you are acquainted with the collection of half-truths and hyperbole known as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Your Highness is too kind. You're right. I am. Allow me to introduce my fellow Jedi, Anakin Skywalker. Your servant, my lady. I remember a time when Jedi were not generals, but peacekeepers. We are protectors, Highness. Yours at the moment. We fight for peace. <laughs> what an amusing contradiction. What Master Skywalker means is that we are acting at the behest of Your Highness, to protect you from the Death Watch and the Separatists who don't share your neutral point of view. Even extremists can be reasoned with. Perhaps if one can be heard over the clanking of their battle droids. Oh, the sarcasm of a soldier. The delusion of a dreamer. Duchess, Master Jedi, it's been a long trip. I think we could all use a little rest and refreshment. Here, here. Now, let us put politics aside until after dinner. Fine. Fine. A civil war killed most of Satine's people, hence her aversion to violence. When she returned, she took on the difficult task of rebuilding her world alone. You didn't stay to help her? That would have been problematic. My duty as a Jedi demanded I be elsewhere. Demanded? But it's obvious you had feelings for her. Surely that would affect your decision. Oh, it did. I live by the Jedi Code. Of course. As Master Yoda says, a Jedi must not form attachments. Yes, but he usually leaves out the undercurrent of remorse. I'll take care of this, Obi-Wan. You, go find your girlfriend. Right. But no, Anakin, she's not my... Obi-Wan, 
It looks like I may never see you again. I don't know quite how to say this, but I've loved you from the moment you came to my aid all those years ago. Satine, this is hardly the time or place for... All right. Had you said the word, I would have left the Jedi Order. That is touching. Truly it is. But it's making me sick, and we really must be going. You have the romantic soul of a slug, Merrick! No! And slugs are so often trod upon. Who will strike first and brand themselves a cold-blooded killer? <laughs> What? He was gonna blow up the ship. Obi-Wan, I... General Skywalker, the last of the droids have been defeated, sir. Very good, Cody. I must get back to the business of diplomacy. As you say, Duchess. Some other time. carry a deactivator just because I'm a pacifist doesn't mean I won't defend myself now you sound like a Jedi just like that swarm of venomites on Draboon remember how could I forget I still have the scar begging your pardon Duchess I distinctly remember carrying you to safety I meant the scar I got after you fell and dropped me oh yes what do you want, you traitor? I would never betray you, Auntie Satine. I'm here to rescue you. Corky! Freeze! Here to do more of your master's bidding? I do my own bidding. Obi-Wan! Yes. The Jedi Council and Galactic Senate will be of no help to us here. I trust you have an escape plan, then. As always, my dear. There's no record of a prisoner transfer here. The orders came from upstairs. What's the authorization code? No. Um... We have to contact my sister for help. She'll send reinforcements. Who's your sister? Ironic to meet again, only to find we're on opposing sides. The needs of your people are all that matter. They couldn't be in better hands, with you to guide their future. Kind words indeed from a mindful and committed Jedi. And yet... What? I'm still not sure about the beard. Why? What's wrong with it? It hides too much of your handsome face. What was that all about? A very remarkable woman. She is indeed. <laughs>